Hey guys, welcome to our nursery. This is Sawyer's room that I'm gonna show you today. So come on in. <laughs> today Sawyer is nine months old and we finally finished the nursery. Nine months equals you like to crawl everywhere. You don't like to be helped. Maybe we'll film a little later with you and you can crawl around. You wanna say bye to everybody? Bye bye. You wanna go see your dad? Okay. And not only am I excited to show you this room, to show you how we pulled it together, but I'm also really excited about this video's sponsor. Dyson has sponsored this video and I cannot wait to tell you about this new thing that I have from them. Very cool and it's right over there. But I'll tell you about that later. I have done a few nurseries in the past for friends and for clients. This nursery project is obviously very special to me because it's my nursery. When we first moved into this house, I knew instantly that I wanted this to be the nursery and I knew that I wanted the crib to be right here. As we step into kind of showing you what I have done in this space, I really want to give you guys some tangible tips on what you guys can use to create a nursery at your home, to share with your friends. Um, a lot of these tips apply to really any room, but especially to a nursery. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. First thing that we did in here and that I always recommend is really picking a theme or a color palette. For me in this room, you know, usually I don't do a lot of bold colors and in this room I wanted to bring in a lot of color and I wanted to pick a color palette that kind of grew with Sawyer and something that I think he would obviously love as a baby but also could go with him as he gets older. As you can see, the color palette that kind of came up was the green mixed with the caramel and the rust and a lot of kind of neutral or tan kind of colors that came through and then a teensy bit of blue that I kind of speckled in throughout in little areas. If you are into doing themes, you can like as Sawyer gets older I'm sure he's gonna want like Paw Patrol's room or something and you better believe I'm gonna make it the coolest Paw Patrol room ever but for right now Scout has been our inspiration if I haven't told you this yet I painted that portrait of Scout my dog during quarantine it was a paint by numbers deal and it was fabulous I'll try to link the company who does that you can submit any photo and then do like a full painting it was actually really fun okay so the second thing I did was I really made sure that we had a great focal point I talked about this earlier when you walk straight into the room I wanted you to see the crib this is a nested crib love this crib it's a transitional crib it goes from it went from like a little teeny tiny bassinet to this big guy and then it will transition to a toddler bed if we want to do that. I love the fact that we used this um, ABC gather mat. We used it like as a tapestry. It's like art, but cheaper than what that size print would normally be. And it's multi-use. I can take it down, have it be a play mat. It's really easy to clean, but it also is educational, teaches him his ABCs. And if he wants to grab it and it falls, it's not gonna hurt anybody. You'll notice behind the play mat, there's a beautiful green shiplap wall. And no, that was not there when we moved in. Tyler actually built this wood wall the week, it was two weeks before I was due. And that was like the first thing that we did in here and it kind of stayed that way for a while. Nine months later, we have the whole thing done. So you have a focal point right when you walk in and you have this great textured wall. Then when you turn around, you have another focal point. So you'll notice I have a chair here and a chair here. As soon as you turn to a different direction, you'll see another focal point. And that's kind of the important lesson here. Every wall does have a focal point. So when you do turn around, you'll see another focal point, which let's just switch places really quick. We have a focal point right behind you, right when you walk in. And then we've got these two focal points on either side of the door. The center of the room is not really the focal point because there's a giant door in the middle of it. So I have this little vignette over here and then I have another one over there where the changing table is. What I love about this wall is the wallpaper that we put on it. So Angela and I did this ourselves in like a few hours. It's a stick-on wallpaper. I'll link the name of the pattern that I got, but I love it. It does come in a couple different colorways. I believe this is their gold. I think it's called gold on their website. But I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it just made this room like totally pop. It gives it kind of a, a retro, old-fashioned 
vibe. Something about it is just so cozy. It's very charming. I think that's the word that comes to mind the most. And I just think it's really fun. So I have these three art prints right here. When I put this little table here, it made my vertical wall a horizontal space. So I've got three different prints that span that area. So ultimately having these little vignettes and little focal points, no matter which chair you're sitting in looking forward, you have something really sweet and cute to look at. So the third thing I did was I wanted to make this room conducive for a really healthy routine for Sawyer. So I did that in a couple of ways. One, we made sure that we had blackout pull down roller shades. We also have closable curtains that are also blackout. Hung those to the ceiling, as you guys know, that's kind of our thing, it makes the room look bigger and better. So one thing that I'm really excited about and something that was a really big, important thing for me is having some sort of air purifier in here. Now this is the Dyson Purifier Hot and Cool Formaldehyde. This thing kind of does it all. So not only is it an air purifier and it detects different things in the room, it traps those things inside its filtering system and then pushes out clean air, which is amazing, but it's also a fan and it's a heat fan. And isn't it cute? And it's very quiet and nice and gentle. Little backstory, you guys know we bought a 100-year-old house. So these windows are 100-year-old windows, which means they do not keep a lot of stuff out. We do have a street next to us that has a lot of cars on it. So there's all kinds of emissions and gases that are out in the air. I think a lot of the time we think that our outside air is really polluted, but what we don't realize is inside air is also very polluted. And it's something that a lot of us are home right now. And so to have really clean air in our house is really, really important especially in this room where my baby lives, breathes, and sleeps all the time. So I really wanted to have that kind of peace of mind that not only things like dust and debris like that, allergens, but pollen and like I was saying, some of the car emissions and different gases and things that get into our house that are harmful, I wanna have something that can detect those items, suck them in, which is what this guy does, traps them, eliminates them, and pushes out some clean air. Also, I don't know if you know this, but there is formaldehyde in a lot of wood flooring, a lot of furniture, a lot of rugs. It traps that formaldehyde in here and then literally destroys it. When it's really hot outside, sometimes it's hard to keep the rooms really cool. So the fact that this is a fan is really awesome because I can have that circulating the air in here. And then in the winter time, when it's really cold outside, our rooms don't necessarily hold a lot of heat. So I love, love, love that this is a heater and it's safe, it's not one of those like crazy ones that gets fire red and he could burn himself. Like Sawyer can crawl up here, he can touch this thing, but I just love that it's safe, I love that it's pretty, and I love that it actually does its job and gives me the peace of mind that my baby is breathing clean, healthy air all day long and keeping the climate and the temperature in here at a really healthy place. If you guys are interested in this purifier, I'm gonna link it below. You just visit Dyson.com and you can check out the Dyson Purifier Hot and Cool Formaldehyde. So the fourth thing that I did was I wanted to decorate with items that Sawyer could also play with. So look how cool this is. This is a ship built out of wood. Look at the anchor. How cute is that? He's got little guys in here that he can play with one day. And I just look at this little ladder. I mean, this is just the cutest thing ever. I love having it out as a decor piece. One day he'll play with it and mess it all up, but nothing a little wood glue can't fix. Also, this is his favorite little thing ever. You guys know this, I showed this in the last video. But just having some decor that's around the room, he can grab and play with, but it also decorates a wall maybe. These are bookshelves that I got. Filled them with some of my antique books, some of my vintage books, but also some new books as well. If you're at a loss or you're on a budget and you don't really want to put a bunch of art, highly recommend Thrifted Art. That's what I used over there. That piece was literally $15. You'll never know what you can find. And I didn't buy that for the nursery. I just bought it because it was cool and it ended up like totally making this room beautiful. Like I think it pulled the whole room together. And then to the right of the door over there, I just literally grabbed swaddles. When you have a baby, everyone gives you a swaddle, but I got swaddles in our color palette and I just put them on these little wood hooks and it decorated that little corner of the wall. And it wasn't an expensive way to decorate. It's very practical. I can use those swaddles if I want, but it also adds some really great texture and some great color to that little corner of the room. All in all, I think it's just really great to have things that are out and available that he can play with. 
Which leads me to number five, which is obviously have some great storage in this space but hide little treasure chests around the room. Kids like to crawl around and move around, and so something that I really wanted to have in here was little pockets, little like treasure chests that he could crawl around to, he could tip it over, he could pull all the toys out, and it's really easy for me to throw them all back in when he's done, push it underneath this awesome table, and just kind of have it secluded and sealed, but also like super easy for him to get into. And then we've got more toys in the other corner, but it's just kind of a fun way to have a really pretty basket kind of add to the aesthetic, but then also have some cool toys on the inside. This goes with my rocking chair. This is an awesome way for you guys to have like hidden storage. On the side table over here, I have like his nail clippers, some vitamin drops that I give him every day and some Q-tips that I keep in this little, ta-da. They're just concealed, but you never know. Very practical, because my side table doesn't have storage in it. So this is a really great way to add some storage that also looks cute to a side table. This table I got from Article. The table and the rug and the fur, faux fur rug on the floor there are all from Article. I just love that their pieces are timeless. I can throw them into a nursery. I can put them in a living room. I just love that they're versatile and that they go really well with my design style and they're really, really great quality. You guys can shop online with Article. They do. Free shipping if your order is over $9.99. And if your order is under $9.99, um, they have a flat shipping fee of $49. So it's a great spot. Check out some of their pieces. They've got some really great kind of mid-century slash modern slash Scandinavian furniture pieces. Okay, can you say bye-bye, everybody? I love you. Thank you again to Dyson for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Sawyer, for being born. Do you like your new room? What do you think? He wants to leave, okay. Scout, are you so happy? You love this rug? We will see you guys next time. Let me know what you think about the nursery and what you think about the style. What do you think about the color? <laughs> oh. Are you trying to grab my lashes? <laughs> we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Get down tonight, get down tonight. This is probably the nerdiest thing I've ever done on YouTube.